Hey, it's your boy, Sergeant Hooked on Henshins. Um, so today's Toku Toy View is going to be a little bit longer one. We're doing uh, my little dinosaur friend here, the Zenkaiju gear. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look how handsome my little boy is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I fucking love this thing. <laughs> um, I love the aesthetic of it being the V slash Q Rex, you know, from Time Force, um, Time Ranger, and Dragon Caesar slash the Dragon Zord as one combined thing. I think design wise, it all kind of fits together. When you look at those two robos, robots, it does not look like those two mecha would even at all fit together as one combined thing, but this works. Um, so I'll show you the sounds it makes on its own, um, and then also the sounds it can do in the Gertlinger and the Gertlinger. I have both up here with me right now. But there's the, uh, there is the Zenkaiju gear. I'll kind of slowly turn it here so you can kind of see a little profile shot there. You see the Dragon Caesar uh, tail there and kind of the little symbol right there for Zoo Ranger, the little Z that's kind of in there. Um, yeah, I was really confused when I saw the first images of this how this is going to work as a gear because it's just a little dinosaur, but I'll show you. First, you flip the little head up and then grab right here and you turn its little legs around. <laughs> and then yeah so there's that um i don't think it does anything else on its own without the either changer yeah so i really like how that looks um yeah i don't think any other parts of it fold up or anything like that so i think that's how it does so yeah there's the folded up transformed gear form of it Kind of get close there so you guys can see the detail there. Looks really nice. I love the paint application on it. It looks really, really good. Um, wish it would have it on both sides, but I get it. I get it. But anyway, first off, we will throw it in the... You heard the man. <laughs> so we'll put that in here. i got to figure out how to do it again. It's been a little bit since I've done it. So we're going to... Hold on. Oh, come on. Ah! Well, listen here, you little shit. Hmm. How do you go? Do you turn this down? I know this is the way it goes in. Excuse me just a minute here while I figure this out. I don't know why it's being silly about it. There we go. I'm supposed to make a noise in the gear when it goes in. Make a little alarm noise. So there's that. That's how it kind of looks in the Gatlinger. Sorry, I had some trouble getting it in there. It's kind of tough to do because it's kind of bulky. But um, I do like how it looks in there. And I like that the little, like, window thing here becomes, like, an aiming thing almost when you have it on there. I think I, I really I, – I saw that from, like, the first promo picture. I was like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so we will uh, do some of the noises with it. So first we'll do the – If you notice, whenever you spin the gear in this or in the girdling, it does the same thing. It does that kaiju, kaiju little like robotic voice. I love that detail. The detail is so cool and it works so well. Um, so we'll close it real quick. So we'll.
not sure what it's doing. So I was going to cut Gai there. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do the big bang. There we go. Yeah, so this one you don't even have to spin it to do the uh, uh, big bang to turn into uh, just normal two Kaiser, or not two Kaiser, Zen, Super Zen Kaiser. You know, big. Um, so there's that. So we're gonna pop that out of there if we can. Let me get back. Ugh. Get it back. Aha. You little shit. Okay. Okay. So we'll set the dirt linger aside here. Sorry, I'm kind of messy with the noises there. It's I gotta like work with it a little bit more because it's kind of hard to um, figure out exactly how it works and how, how all the sounds it makes and like how to put it in the dirt linger and dirt linger without breaking them. So. Okay. Of course. So we'll pop that baby open. Love it, love it, love it. I'm working on doing that dance, by the way. It's really hard. It's so much faster than the normal Changi Sukai dance. Holy shit. <laughs> but I like that. I like the little do -do 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 -do, like electronic beat to it. <laughs> I love Zox so much, and his whole dance aesthetic is just ridiculous, but I love it. So we'll do the uh, attack thing with it. So we'll spin the Girdlinger. Kaiju. So he says, Cho! To Kaizi? Baku! Or whatever that was from the end there. Yeah. So uh, that's really cool. I like how that sounds. The sounds for that are pretty great. So we'll do the. Yeah. So yeah, those are kind of the sound it's able to do there. Um, there we go. So I like how it looks in both of them. Um, I think I like the look of it in the Gertlinger a little better just because you get this as like an aiming thing almost, like a reticle, reticule almost. Um, but they look really nice in both, both in the closed mouth form and the little open. Yeah, so. Okay, I'll just take you out. Um, so yeah, I really do enjoy it. I think it makes a lot of really awesome uh, Noises, sorry, it's kind of hard to remember where the off is for this. Um, so yeah, I really do like that part of it. 
Um, and I like that it kind of transforms like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this little thing is really cool, and I think it's a really nice addition to it. It looks really nice displayed with the Gerdlinger and Gerdlinger. Um, and I like overall the noise and the paint application for it is cool. Again, I do wish that what we got on this side, we also had on this side, because I think that's how it looks in the show too. But again, with it being a DX toy that's meant for kids and blah, 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 they're not going to put all their money into all of the paint applications. Now, they might do a memorial something, something version of the Gertlinger and Gertlinger that come with this fully painted and whatever. Uh, so, uh... But yeah, no, overall, I think it looks really nice. I like that when it's transformed like this, the face of Dragon Caesar is legs for um, uh, V-Rex. Um, so I really like that, and I like the transformation gimmick of, like, pull up the head. Yeah, so I really like that part of it, and I like that it kind of chops on the gear when you do this part. Yeah, so I really like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, overall, it's a really cool little gimmick item. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting anything else past this as far as, like, a final form for the Red, like, for the for, for Kaito, like they usually do, like, Shishi Red Orion, or, um, can you just relax, sir? Um, or uh, Max Real Sword Red, stuff like that. We might. I don't know for sure. Um, I'm guessing this will probably be it for Zox reforms as well, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Um, but yeah, overall, I really do like it. I think it works really well. I think the sounds are good in it. I do wish that it went into each device a little smoother. I think that getting it in there is kind of hard and that maybe if you're a little too, uh, touchy with it, you might break something <laughs> or like not really damage it, but at least like drop it or kind of hard push it in and maybe mess with something. So just be kind of careful when you do it. Clearly it has to be, you know, flipped up in its, you know, fully transformed state here. Oh, whoops. Well, put the head back. So, it's got to be in that form first before you do anything. Um, yeah. But, uh, no, I think that the sounds are really great on it. Those are really good quality. The paint application is great on it. I like what it sounds like in both of them. Um, I'm not currently planning on getting any of the mecha currently. Um, I basically said that I would only get mecha for Rio Soldier, and that's what I did so far. Maybe at some point, but the mecha, like, they're great, but I don't know if I need them, especially with display, you know, displaying them and having, like, space for all of that. But uh, I really do like it. I think the, the Zenkaiju gear is really cool. I like that it's got the little aesthetic of looking like a little dinosaur little friend here. Um, I like in the show that they, like, walk around and, you know, are, like, alive, sort of. Um, and I love Super 2 Kaiser suit and Super Zenkaiser suit. Both of them look really, really cool. Um... But overall, yeah, it's a really good little, uh, you know, DX toy here. I probably, if I were to review it, I'd probably give it a strong 9 out of 10, only because, a point off, just because it is a little rough getting into the Gertlinger and the Gertlinger, and I'm worried about, like, I, I'm really careful with my stuff, so I'm worried about breaking something and then having to buy it again or something like that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, overall, really great. Um, great paint implications, great sound effects. Um, once you actually get it in, the, 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 the different noses, noses, noises and modes it has are really cool so overall i really do enjoy it and i hope you guys liked this review as well um coming up i'm probably going to try and do one for the seiza blaster once i get it in the mail pretty soon along with the what's up psycho psycho kutama um and i think that's going to be it for, for that stuff for now until the arkle comes out there's a legend series makeover legend makeover series or basically they have like, it's basically like a version of like the DX belt, but just a little bit simpler. So it's times expensive. Um, but I've never had an Arkle before and I love Kuga. So I'll be getting that fairly soon, I think. So I'll try and get that and review that for the channel. So coming up next then, you'll be looking out for, next week will be the review of episode 24 for Zenkaiger. Um, I probably will try to get my thoughts together on Saber and do some kind of an overall, you know, series review of that. Um, might be a little bit longer video, like a part one and a part two, or even a three part video perhaps. Um, and, uh, definitely once I get my revise driver, I'll definitely get that dink around with it make sure I know all the sounds it makes and how to activate those and show you guys what I have with that. I did go for the, um, one that comes with the belt along with the T-Rex stamp and the, um, grasshopper stamp for, uh, Ichigo. So, and it comes with a book too. It's like, uh, um, Henshin, Henshin items or Henshin belt book, something like that. And it's like all the Henshin belts from like Ichigo through to revise basically. Um, so I'll probably try and show a few pages of that off. It's a book, so I don't really know how much I can do with that. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be the content coming up pretty soon. 
Um, also, I guess if Dino Fury ends up coming back on, you know, episodes up for that, I'll clearly review that as well. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate you. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking the videos, sharing them, dislikes, liking, all of it. I appreciate all of it and the comments. Let me know what you guys think of the Zenkaiju gear. Is it your favorite little boy too, just like me? Mwah. I love you. You're so cute. Make a noise. Make a noise. Make a noise. Make a noise. You little butt. Now you want to be quiet, huh? Hmm? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, my son. I'm sorry. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys like it? Do you not? Do you want to see something else for me to review? But as always, stay hooked on Henshin's. I'll see you guys in the next video. Finger guns never going to stop. Bom, 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 bom. Anyway, bye.